man car got a problem. They think women is their they passport to happiness. Financial stability. Is a gateway to happiness. A woman is really your birthright. She's your birthright. So if you have her, it's yours because you was born for her and she was born for you. It's just that y'all meet up whenever y'all meet. feel different right now. Yo, I just drifted on because my mind is so complex. I'm multitask. So I'll be trying to do a hundred things at one time, but in Antigua, what I actually realized eventually, you can't do a hundred things at a time, even if you multitask. The environment would not allow it to come to fruition. That basically take like I'm going to show you how a person minds work. Just so simple. If you're in your living in your neighborhood, and basically you're living in your neighborhood, right? You're living in your neighborhood, and you see a nigga sitting down on the street corner right there, Every day for the last four years. This is how you know that a person's mind is not stable. Or that's how you know, know there's no real future there for her. There's a guy sitting there. Good Lord, he's not tired. He busy, busy. There's a guy sitting right there for four years. Every time you come outside, you see him. He ain't doing nothing. You know him. He know you. Y'all talk to each other all the time. And one day, you're going to ask him, homie, could you do me a favor and help me put these two 50-pound dumbbells five feet away from each other. He's going to say to you, he's busy. He was busy doing what? Then he's going to say to you, oh, it's cost of foot to do that. You know you could do it by yourself, but just asking him, because he ain't doing shit. Now he wants to get paid for time that he never going to be getting paid for. That's how you know a person ain't stable. You were sitting there for four years. So because, and then if you want a dollar, I'm the nigga that you possibly going to ask. If you want two dollars, I'm the nigga you possibly going to ask. If you want a ride in a car going somewhere, I could be the nigga that he, that, that he asks. And if you ask them for one favor, they charge you. That's why I'm fucking with people, man. If I do a nigga a favor, man, I don't charge them. If somebody asks me to do them a favor, I don't charge them. You know why? Because I wasn't doing nothing. On everything I love, on grandma, Shit hot as hell. No man on the earth is really busy. Because if a nigga is really busy, he won't be around for you to request what you request. Think about it. And if a man is really busy, why is it after 20 years he's still broke?
I know people that have been busy for 20, 30 years. I don't see them with a car. I don't see them with a bike. They don't have a house. They don't have a girlfriend. They don't have nothing to offer someone. But they've been busy for 20, 30 years. If you're busy, you know who you are. I'm not busy. I'm not too busy. Because I got time for myself and I also got time for others because I'm a human being and human being makes time for each other. So when you tell them, when a person keep telling you they're busy, don't disagree with them. Don't. You observe their life for 20, 10 years, 10 to 20 years. Then when you see them with nothing, you're going to sit down. That man been busy like 10 years now. He haven't even acquired the basic. Look, I'm wigging on. I'm in a peaceful state of mind. Sometimes I feel like going back to church, but I don't believe in church. Neither do I believe in the Christian God. Why? Because he doesn't exist. He's a phantom. Created him to rob you for free. We're gone.